so hello everyone welcome to arutap and guys one of the most important thing when you are preparing for the nabard grade examination are the report section so in today's lectures i will be discussing with you that what are the important things that needs to be kept in mind when you are preparing a specific report list for your upcoming nabard grade a examination now before proceeding with the lectures guys i just want to discuss with you that we have made a lot of excel sheet we have done a lot of research work to bring out this specific thing that what are the important key points that needs to be worked on when you are preparing the reports list if i just give you a brief idea guys you can have a look at here that what are the things that we have done so we have analyzed each and everything we have analyzed the previous reports and schemes that have been asked in your 2019 and 2020 examinations then we have elaborately discussed the 2020 examinations but here you can see the 2021 examination what are the questions how many marks the questions have been asked type of question whether it, whether it was a one liner or a paragraph based questions kis jagah se aaya hai report see schemes the ठीक है वेन द एग्जामिनेशन हैज बिन कंडक्टेड देन द थिंग इज फ्रॉम विच सोर्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन हैव बीन आस्ट द लिंक ऑफ दैट सोर्स ठीक है जी in which months that how many months old the questions have been asked whether we have covered it or not so that is each and everything we have discussed it here similarly we have discussed the same thing in your phase 2 examination also that what are the questions from which specific thing the questions have been asked okay then from where the questions have been asked which means each and every pain point that comes to the mind of a student have we have analyzed each and everything and now guys it will not be if i give you the specific exercises na to aap log confuse ho jaoge instead of retaining so you will get confused here so in today's lectures i will be discussing with you the crux of this excel sheet the analysis that we have done with you theek hai ji so first important thing is when i talk about the report uh, from the current affairs point of view to current affairs ki teen important dimensions hote hain jisme se important dimension reports i will be discussing with you today so guys in today's lecture i have analyzed the previous year paper because last year the pattern of nabard has changed so last year 11 marks of questions or 11 questions were being asked in phase 1 and there were 14 marks of paper that has been asked in your phase 2 examination so here one thing that we have analyzed here is the common question that comes to our mind is what are the reports that needs to be prepared how these reports has to be prepared which means that from which source you have to prepare how many months old current affairs needs to be prepared or reports has to be prepared the second question is come then the third important thing is what and how is the strategy that what is the strategy how the other students are doing what so now guys for all this thing one important thing is analyzing the pvqs and the syllabus if you are thorough with syllabus then you can analyze because we have analyzed that each and every questions or each and every report that has been asked in your examination is related to your syllabus that is one thing very very important and in today's lecture i will be proceeding this lecture first of all i will be discussing the esi reports then i will move towards the ard reports theek hai to chalo sabse pehle esi ka syllabus is in front of you now here guys you can see the syllabus but if i tell you that there are some organizations that are directly mentioned here which means reports of these organizations are very important i give you an example here look at this thing imf world bank wto these organizations are directly mentioned in your syllabus which means the reports if it is being released by these organizations are important other than those the reports related to your syllabus are always important let's understand it with an example theek hai ji For example, there was a question on national education policy that has been asked. So, national education policy, when a question has been asked, is if I tell you from which sector of the specific thing this question has been asked, so the answer is, guys, this has been directly asked from our syllabus. That is education policy for India. So, this is an important thing because the, with the new education policy, the whole framework of education has been revamped. So, that's why this national education policy is important. And last year, there were four questions on the national education policy that were being asked in the examination. This year also, you can expect the questions on NEP because recently it has completed. Two years, so this is expected. So any P, so you have to go because it is directly related to your syllabus, education policy for India. Okay. Now, similarly, you can see. Okay, ji, if a report is coming, poverty alleviation or employment generation, me that is important. Okay, ji, if this is report related to, let's say. Uh, social system social sectors education social sectors health these are again important for your syllabus now this is something a new thing that we have seen in the recent examination of nabard that nabard is asking questions on the finance specific reports also now if i ask you this question that why the question on financial stability report has been asked most of you might be feeling ke sir now nabard has started this thing ke finance padhna start kar dijiye 
But if I tell you this is not a report of finance, this is a question from the ESI syllabus. Yes, guys, you are getting me right. This is a question that is this report is directly related to our syllabus. If I give you an example, that is reforms in banking and financial sector from where this specific report has been asked in the examination. Now, there, this one thing is needs to be remembered here is. If there is a report that is related to some reforms in banking or financial sector as financial stability report discusses the banking reforms or the discusses the initiatives taken for the banks. If I give a recent example, then Niti Aayog has released digital banks pe report. Hai. Hai? So this is again related to our syllabus that is important. But if there is a report that is related to something like SEBI has released a report on bonds or something like that. That will not be important for NABARD examination. This is the difference that you need to remember. If it is a reform, if it is a report that is related to reforms in banking sector, that is important for our examination. That is the reports that you have to prepare for the NABARD. Now, let's move to the ARD section. So, ARD also you will be seeing that there are some specific things which are hidden in the syllabus. If you go through that specific things, you will know that you have to read First is Indian State of Forest Report. See, it is being directly being mentioned Indian State of Forest Report 2015, which means latest edition, which will be Indian State of Forest Report, ka, that has to be covered in your examination. That you have to cover thoroughly. Okay. Similarly, if I give you some name of some organizations, like see it here, IPCC, UNFCC, United Nations Federation on Convention Climate Change, IPCC ki reports aati hain. So these are again important for our syllabus because these are the organizations directly mentioned in the syllabus of NABARD examination. So the reports of these organizations play a very prominent role here. Now, if we look at the question, so there are some static reports of ARD. Static which I means is that those reports so aati hain aur directly syllabus se hi hoti hain. If I give you an example, that is reports like Agri Census, Livestock Census, Handloom Census, Census 2011, or you can say Advanced Estimates on Horticulture Crops. These are the important things which you have to learn because they directly relate to agriculture. Se. So if I talk about this question that has been asked, this is directly being asked from the NABARD Annual Report of 2021. Then you can see a question of Agri Census has been asked. Second advanced estimates on production and horticulture of crops. The question has been asked in your previous year examination. Now this is something interesting. Just we have syllabus mein discuss the financial stability report. Whether that is related to this syllabus. Same things comes here also, guys. It we always feel that ESI ki report jo hai na, wo ARD mein puchi jati hai. But then also there was a question that is coming to my mind is why? It will not be like that. Na? Why uh, why someone will be asking questions from the ESI in the ARD specific thing? So if I look at the specific questions of UNEP gap report, this is something that needs to be analyzed. This there are some topics that are intermingling between ARD and ESI also. And this is a report, might many of you might be feeling it is a report of ESI, sustainable development and environmental issues se relate. Karti hai. But guys, this is are directly related to ARD syllabus also. How? Look at the thing. Ecology and climate change is a topic under the ARD syllabus where greenhouse gas has been clearly mentioned, emissioning of greenhouse gas. And this report is directly focusing on the greenhouse gas emission. That's why this report has been asked in your ARD reports section. So this tells us one thing, the one point that I was discussing is that thorough understanding of syllabus is the one of the core thing when you have to prepare when you have to list out some reports for your examination. Now after that, the next question coming to my mind is that might be asked that might be coming into the mind of the student is ki kya sir ko relation hota hai previous year paper ke saath to the answer is yes. Let me show you an example here. This is a question on ease reforms that has been asked in the year 2021. Same question has been asked in phase 2. Then same report pe question aaya tha phase 2 of 2020 that is on ease reforms index. Three questions have been asked. On the age reforms index, okay? So there is which means previous year paper analysis and which is very important. Ho jata hai. Reports repeat. Hoti hai. Similarly, in ARD also, there has been a question on agri census in 2021 and there was a question on agri census also in the year 2020 also. Okay? So, look, here is operational land holding of small farmers. Here is the land holdings of marginal farmers. So, look, there are many other things that are similar line of thought. They have asked the question agri census se in 2020 and 21 and yes if you have analyzed the paper of 2021 reports agar aapne achhi tarah dekhi hai to it might be a possibility that 2021 ki reports bhi 2022 mein puchi jaye theek hai 
so now coming to the sources guys these are the prominent sources hindu pib and krishi jagran these are the important sources that you should work on when you are preparing the reports aap yahan se reports pad sakte hain along with that you can refer to any monthly magazine theek hai ji of your desired choice you can refer to that also but one thing is important aapko puri report detail mein nahi padni hai फॉलो दिज इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज पेपर ठीक है जी और यहीं पर ही आपको जितने भी क्वेश्चन आ रहे हैं यू हैव टू कवर दीज डाटाज ऑन प्रायरिटी पूरी रिपोर्ट खोल के आपको पूरी रिपोर्ट नहीं पढ़नी है दिस इज वन थिंग इंपॉर्टेंट ओके नाउ कम्स द कवरेज परसपेक्टिव गाइज सो फॉर फेस वन एंड फेस टू इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द कवरेज दे आई हैव डिफाइंड आई हैव डिवाइडेड दिस थिंग इन टू द टू इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स दैट इज डिजायर्ड कवरेज कि इतना तो आपको पढ़ना चाहिए बट ये चीज आपको बिल्कुल ही नहीं छोड़नी तो फॉर फेस वन डिजायर्ड कवरेज विल बी फाइव मंथ बिफोर योर एग्जामिनेशन आउट ऑफ दिस लास्ट थ्री मंथ्स आर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सिमिलरली इन फेस टू नाइन मंथ्स इज द डिजायर्ड कवरेज बट लास्ट सिक्स मंथ्स आपको बहुत अच्छी तरह कवर करने हैं लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग विद एन एग्जाम्पल हेर ऑल्सो ठीक है फॉर फेस वन देर इज द क्वेश्चन ऑन नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी द क्वेश्चन दैट हैज बीन आस्ट इन अवर एग्जामिनेशन ठीक है सो आई जस्ट गिव यू एन आइडिया ठीक है जी देखिए एनईपी पे क्वेश्चन आया था पिछली बार ठीक है दैट हैज बीन आस्ट सो एनईपी यू कैन सी दिस वॉज इन सीन इन न्यूज ऑन ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ अगस्त सो यू हैव योर फेस वन एग्जामिनेशन दैट इज इन द मंथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर एंड सी जस्ट वन मंथ बिफोर योर एग्जामिनेशन तो मैंने बोला लास्ट थ्री मंथ इंपॉर्टेंट है जस्ट वन मंथ बिफोर योर एग्जामिनेशन एनईपी वॉज सीन इन न्यूज ठीक है बिकॉज कर्नाटका बिकेम द फर्स्ट स्टेट टू इंप्लीमेंट द एनईपी दैट वॉज इन देयर इन न्यूज ओके सिमिलरली इफ आई शेयर विद यू एंड अनदर एग्जाम्पल ऑल्सो That is for the phase two examination. There was a question on UNICEF data. As I was saying, desired nine months are required. Why I am saying desired nine months? Take a last five months to important. Hai. Look at the thing here. Just give me a thing. So, now I am going to show you this one. Okay, guys. I think guys, we are. I'm not able to open this link, okay? But then also, I will be trying on that, okay? So, you can also see it when you are looking at this thing also. So here you can see. See, this was a news that was seen in March 2021, okay? So March 2021, that means that behave for eight months before your phase two examination, this was seen in news. So this tells us that the desired coverage that I was talking about here, that is the three months and the nine months, this is important. So three months or nine months' perspective is this. Because for phase two, it doesn't mean that you have to study six months. Six months is very important, which you don't have to leave completely. But nine months are desired coverage. Similarly, for phase one, five months are the desired coverage, but last three months are the most important one. now if i summarize it this thing so how you have to prepare the list of reports guys if the report is being released by international organization it is related to your syllabus then it is will be relevant it will be very very important for both phase 1 and phase 2 similarly for national organizations if the report is related to your syllabus it will be very important again for your phase 1 and phase 2 examinations private organizations when i talk about if it is related to syllabus then it is can be moderately important example is mind gap report question has been asked in 2020 on mind gap report theek hai ji that is released by oxfam related to syllabus theek hai ji but if it is a private organization report that is not related to your syllabus it will only be important for, for your phase 1 phase 2 ke liye wo important nahi hai yani ki jaise forbes ki ranking aa jati hai huron index ki ranking aa jati hai to ye sirf phase 1 ke liye as a ga perspective this reports are important it will not be for relevant for your esa india at specific things so guys that was all from my side theek hai so i hope now you can it will be easy for you to prepare your reports list theek hai so now if you have liked the video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel then to get the access of free materials that we are providing on our youtube kindly subscribe to the telegram channel the link for which is given in the description below okay so guys this was all from my side if you have liked the video kindly comment on that also theek hai what are your thoughts that how this video was helpful for you tell me about that in the comment box and then if you have any kind of doubt you could drop me an email at hello@erotap.co.in you could even place us a call that is 8146207241 i hope guys the lecture is fruitful for you keep working hard keep preparing and wishing you all the best for your examination